Hello, I'm going to walk you through shorting a stack in Investopedia. So what you need to do is first you enter in your ticker symbol and then you click on the transaction to sell short. So what's going on in this scenario is that I think the stock price is going to go down. And so what you're doing is you're in essence, you're borrowing shares from your broker. And what do you owe them back? You owe them back the shares. So what you're going to do in the system when you sell short, your, your broker is lending you the amount of shares that you're looking to borrow when you short, and then you are to pay back those shares, not the dollar amount. So what I teach in all my trading is pick the dollar amount that, which you want to short. So for this example, let's say I'm shorting um, Tesla and I want to short it with $10,000. So once I type in Tesla, the ticker, sell short, it'll come up the price. So right now the price is $336.93. So to get the shares, if you type in $10,000 and you divide it by the 336.93, you get roughly 29.67 shares. And I always round down just to be a little more conservative there because we don't want to go over 10,000. So in this case, we're going to short it 29 shares. And, and then once I kind of um, do that, I could choose then a market order, a limit order, um, on that short. So limit order, if uh, maybe maybe um, my my ceiling of the stock is let's say uh, 350, I want to short it at 350, then I would use a, a limit order of 350 here at this point. Um, if I just want to short it at the current price of 336.93, then I would just hit a market order there. So the market order gives me the current uh, bid asks um, amount there. So in this case, the ask, um, is uh, 336.93. So what we're going to do then is we're going to um, hit good till canceled um, so that will keep it um, open. If I'm using a limit order and I want to want to keep let's say I want to short it at 350 if I do good kill, good till canceled it'll keep the order in there until I go in and manually take out the order. If I put a day order it'll keep the order open for just today and then um, tomorrow the order will cancel out whether or not it gets executed or not, because if I go to short it and it doesn't reach 350, then at the end of the day, this order gets canceled out and never gets executed. All right, so right now I'm just gonna put a, um, a, a market order in, so it's gonna execute it right away. And so once I've kind of entered that in, I preview the order. And you can see now once I do that, I'm a slightly below the $10,000 mark, um, just because um, I, I rounded down there. And so the price, there's the current price, 338.55. I submit the order if everything looks good. And now that order gets executed. So um, in Investopedia, there's obviously a delay because it's, it's not uh, free software. And so what we want to do then is if we go to our open trades, you'll see the open trade. There it is. It's right there. It's holding it. It'll take a, a minute or so to go through. Now, once, once that trade then goes through, when you go to your portfolio tab, the long positions are up here, and then at the bottom are all your shorted positions. All right, so um, I shorted um, Zoom, and I kind of walked through that uh, with my students, but you could see what I want to do then is I want to cover my short as, as a closing order, um, usually 3% over what the price I shorted it at. So. We'll wait till this kind of comes in. I'll wait a second and then I'll execute the trade. So the order went through and there is Tesla now. It's in there. There's the 29 at 336.90 that we just shorted it at. And so what we want to do is as soon as the price of this um, kind of goes down on the stock, I start making money on the short. Um, but I also want to protect my upside risk. So to create an order that protects me a little bit is I, if I go into here and I hit, click cover, I want to make sure that the closing order then would be buy to cover. So once again, if I put a market order in there, it will basically execute whatever the current market price is for the stock. But I want to let the, the trade kind of breathe here a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a buy to cover stop order. And what I what I want to look at is that 336.90 price that, that I just um, received on the short. So I run back to the calculator and I put punch in the 336.90. That's the price that I shorted at. 
and I want to make sure that it does drop from here. But if it does start increasing, if the price goes up, I want to get out of my position. I want to cover my short. So in order to get that, we're going to send a 3%. Um, you could set a rule, 3%, 4%, 5%, whatever you feel like uh, doing. You have to create rules for yourself. For in this case, I'm going to pick a 3%. I'm going to stick to 3% stops. So if I multiply my uh, short price times 1.03, I get 347, pretty much even. So I'm going to use 347 as my um, price stop. So when it reaches 347, it's going to exit me out of the position. If it starts to go down and fall, I could readjust that stop. I could get a market order to get out and get my gains. But usually shorts were in for very quick, uh, short periods of time. So I'm going to put that in as a good till canceled. Now, once I preview the order, it will kind of share with me uh, the, the dollar amount. So obviously, it will cost me more money uh, than what I received on the short. But remember, I owe those shares back. So I'm going to submit that order, and it will take about a minute. And once that order then goes through, it will be housed um, in, in as an open order. Um, so to kind of show you what that would look like right now, if I go back and look at the short that I did um, earlier on Zoom, you can kind of see that... Um, there, there is the um, the cover order. There is everything is kind of in there, um, and it's it's waiting to be executed. So that's kind of how you put um, your shorts and covers in. So we'll kind of uh, keep an eye. So there's the there's the zoom cover at 360, and then there's the uh, cover on Tesla. It'll take a second to kind of go through, but there's the cover at um, 347. So if it does start to rise, 347, it will it'll execute it then as a market order at that time. Um, my advice though on shorting, you got to be careful when you um, stock does gap out, especially during earnings calls. And so if you do look to um, kind of put these limit orders in and, and to cover yourself and stop orders and stuff like that, um, there's no guarantee because stuff could happen between the close and the open of the next day. And so you just got to be mindful of that. It's not always a guarantee you're going to get this price. Um, but if you're generally trading a liquid stock during the trading day, you pretty much um, will, will get those prices unless there's a huge glitch in the overall system, which, which really doesn't happen too often. It does happen from time to time um, where all of a sudden um, things kind of get wacky in the markets. Um, where stock prices uh, all of a sudden in a matter of seconds will go down $10 and back up. It doesn't happen too often, um, but your stops um, protect you during the trading day pretty well for the most part. But overnight, uh, there is no protection there. All right, so there's how you put a um, short in, and this is how you cover your short using a stop order. Thank you for checking out this video and look at more and please subscribe to my channel.